Okay, welcome back. We are now doing the second to last mission on Halo 2. High Charity, a level that... Confession, uh, this one is giving me a difficult time. It's not even a particularly difficult level. It's just, one, it's really dark, so I'm having a hard time seeing, you know, the action and... Um, I'm also getting a bit impatient with this one. This is a short mission, and I remember liking it when I was younger. Um, I thought it, it was kind of cool because it reminded me of Doom 3 a little bit with, you know, how dark it was, but now that I'm playing it, I am having a really difficult time seeing the action and uh, finding myself not liking this level, but it is shorter, and there's really only one tough spot, which is near the end, so... We're gonna go ahead and start High Charity, normal, deathless. Hopefully this is the one that makes the cut. I also dislike this level because we fight a lot of Flood and I find the Flood to be boring. Your pal, where's he going? Uh. Then he struggled started. And this time, none of you will be left behind me. That structure in the center of the city, it's a forerunner ship. And Truth is heading straight for it. If he leads the Covenant fleet to Earth, they won't stand a chance. You have to stop him. That brute has the Index. Anne, Miranda, and Johnson. He can activate the ring. If he does, I'll detonate in Amberclad's reactor just like we did the Autumns. The blast will destroy this city and the ring. Not a very original plan, but we know it'll work. No, I don't want to chance a remote detonation. We need to stay here. Hooray, more flood. We'll let them fight each other for a minute. Drop ships are touching down all over the city. That creature beneath the library, that great mine, used us. It was just a diversion. An amberclad was always its intended vector. There's a conduit connecting this tower to the ship. Head back inside. I'll lead you to it. Let's go, boy. <laughs> up the corpses before they can reanimate.
very fortunate to survive that sword slash at very close range. Alright, so here's where the level starts to get difficult to I'll see what's this going on. Once you reach the top, that'll slow them down. I hope. Shall we let the flood consume our holy city? Turn out the charity of another No enemy has ever withstood our might. The flood too shall fail. I'll do what I can to slow the launch sequence. But there's something inside the ship, a presence that's fighting back. For a Covenant construct, it's unusually formidable. And when that second wave of drones came, the my uh, strategy was take out the one with the needler as quick as possible because that's the one that'll take you down quick. Sucks, can't see anything. for a moment. You 
know, we might be better off with an energy sword, but... Wow, for whatever reason, that... Combat-type flood ran right past me with the shotgun. was another encounter we were very fortunate to survive. When those brutes go into melee, they're tough to take down. At close range, in close quarters. At distance, not too bad. Defeat us. idea what's going on. I can barely see, but it looks like uh, the Flood Covenant are fighting one another, so we'll let them hammer it out. There's a, one with a rocket launcher. We have to be mindful of that. Definitely want to stick to the high ground on those. The security systems in this part of the tower hallways. are particularly robust. Come on. 
whosoever is good by fear, take heed. I am a prophet of truth, and I am not afraid. Noble mercy is here, at my side. His wise counsel ever in my ears. We exist together now. Two courts in one grave. Needler is the one you want to take out first. Drones with needlers, lethal combination. Okay, so now we're coming up on the toughest part. Apparently these are the Prophet Hierarch's private quarters, their inner sanctum. So the trick for the next area, if there is such a thing, is just to keep moving. Do not stand still. Keep moving. Keep firing. This will not be the end of us. It is but one last That one had a sniper rifle. Okay, I think I took out all the flood that just leaves. Covenant. Okay, let's go.
I think as far as weapons go, this is as good as it's going to get. Good combination, shotgun and uh, carbine. This next part is going to be a blitz. We'll fire our way through. Don't know which I path know the is the was easiest. Good at forerunner technology, but this is amazing. They've been using the Forerunner ship's engines as an energy source for the city. The ship isn't so much launching as it is disengaging, uncoupling itself from High Charity's power grid. Stopping truth, that's all that matters. Now is the time of our own world. You know the plan. You've got to stop truth. I've got to handle the index. Go! If you know you can't keep it. Okay, admittedly, here, we'll go ahead and stop here because that's the end of the cutscene. It bleeds into the next level. But admittedly, not my finest effort. I did okay, I guess. Not a very long level, only 20 minutes or so of action. Um, and that last section where I made a run for it, I could have stuck around a little bit and fought off a few enemies, but uh, I just wanted to get to the end. So uh, I did take out the sniper who's probably your going to be... Um, if you're going to die, it's going to be because you got pot-shotted by the jackal sniper. But, you know, just used uh, the brutes and flood fighting one another as an opportunity to make the escape so that's the end of the master chief's part in halo 2 so just one mission left the arbiter's final mission and we'll be getting to that next time